The green here indicates our sliding door. Our bathroom is going to block off this door from being used as an entrance, however will still be accessible from the outside, so we can reach our toilets, plumbing and water filtration system easily. Because of this, we'll be using the cab as one of our main entrances by removing our middle seat. Upon entrance, the staircase leading to the pop top will be on the left and the bathroom is to the right. The bathroom will have a composting toilet and a recirculating shower system. With its six stage UV filter, we should be able to have an unlimited hot shower. The shower wall will be frosted and see-through on the top half. This will give the illusion of space. However, should we want privacy, we have a slide-out wardrobe which separates the living space from this area. The wardrobe features ambient and task lighting, as well as mirrored doors, shelving and hanging space. Under the steps, we have a sliding drawer with our 40 litre fridge freezer. Above is space for another, should we need. Each step is hinged, opening upwards, providing additional storage. The bathroom wardrobe area is an intimate space designed for one person to comfortably use. As we travel towards the back of the van, the space opens up on both sides. The curved lines emphasize the transition from private to communal living. Our kitchen cleverly conceals a two burner induction hob, an eight in one mini oven with functions such as air frying and baking, and a small slide out table, which is perfectly sized to fit a laptop. We have a round sink and drainer with a faucet, which will be mounted on the wall. Sam color coded the framework to help organize assembly. This is the entertainment wall, which has a wall mounted TV in the center and speakers up in the corners. These electronics will be neatly framed by two parallel LED strip lights. We purposely avoided filling this wall with storage cabinets, sacrificing functionality for the luxury of spaciousness. The sofas and armrest will be lined with memory foam. We have a floating corner shelf here on the left, allowing a person to lie outstretched on the sofa with their feet under this shelf. The ceiling has one large circular lighting fixture, emitting a soft glow around its circumference. We explored options for the dining table. One option was a pivot table. However, we didn't want to be constantly maneuvering around this large object. Instead, we opted for a fold out table, which when closed disappears into the wall. The back double doors will be one of our main entrances to the van. This wooden platform will fold up, allowing you to enter, but will fold down, allowing us to lie and get comfy when in the van. The standout feature for our van is the solid insulated pop top, which covers the entire roof. The panels, which unlike typical tent pop tops, will be wind resistant and completely weatherproof. It will fold up and down quickly with the assistance of gas struts and continuous hinges.